Welcome to today's experiment. We're going to be doing an experiment called Copper Plated Coin. In this video, we're going to be explaining this experiment in more simplified terms so that elementary and middle school students can understand it. If you're looking for a more in-depth explanation for advanced middle school and high school students, please check out the link in our description box. Now let's jump right into it. For this experiment, you will need vinegar, rubbing alcohol, a plastic cup, a 9 volt battery, a sharpie, two copper electrodes or copper strips, a quarter or nickel, a 9 volt battery snap and alligator clips, and a paper towel. For links to the materials that I bought, check the links in the description box. The first thing you need to do is take your marker and mark a plus and minus si signs on either side of your plastic cup. Then pour vinegar around 2 inches into the plastic cup. Next, attach your 9 volt battery snap to your alligator clips. Since mine are already connected, I do not have to do this. Then I connected the snap to the 9 volt battery. After this, I connected each alligator clip to the copper strips. Take each copper strip and carefully place them in the vinegar. Make sure that the red is at the plus sign and the black is at the minus sign. Your setup should look like this. Wait until the vinegar turns blue as shown in the video. After this has happened, you can take your quarter or nickel and clean it with rubbing alcohol. After you have cleaned the quarter, do not touch it. Use a something else to carry it. Next, remove the copper strip from the negative side of your setup. This one should be the black alligator clip. Then attach the quarter to that black alligator clip. Slowly lower the quarter into the setup and tape the setup so that the alligator clip is not touching the vinegar, only the quarter is. After you've completed this setup, you should leave it for around 30 minutes to 3 hours. It ranges on depending on your materials. For us, it, turned, it took almost 2-3 to three hours for this experiment to work. After waiting, take the tape off and take the quarter out of the, the setup. A copper black substance should have formed over your quarter. T remove the quarter from the alligator clip and clean it off with a paper towel. As you can see, a copper layer formed over the quarter. You can see that the place where the alligator clip, it's more silvery than the rest of the um, quarter and this shows that a copper layer formed over the quarter. So now let's talk about how this happens. In the first step of this experiment, we did something called electrolysis. As you can see in the picture, in one of the copper strips, some of the copper almost came off of the copper strip and on the other one, it, some of the copper layered on top of it. From this, we can see that in this setup, some copper left one of the strips and transferred onto the other strip. This is because in this setup, the vinegar is causing this reaction and electricity to flow in, in this circuit. The battery is powering this reaction. Little bits of the copper removes from the positive side of the setup, which was the red alligator clip. It comes off of the that copper strip, goes into the vinegar, and we can see that there's little pieces of vinegar that's uh, little pieces of copper that's in the vinegar later and some of the copper layers onto the other copper strip. In a similar way, when we add the quarter, the copper is collecting onto the quarter and is plating it. So that's why the second step is called electroplating. Well, why does the vinegar turn blue? This is because not only do small bits of copper um, collect on the bottom of your cup in the vinegar, but it also reacts with the vinegar and it turns blue. One of the indicators of a chemical reaction, so basically one of the things that show that a chemical reaction has occurred is a change of color. So the vinegar and the copper have created this chemical reaction and um, turn blue. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. If you haven't joined our community yet, subscribe to our channel. We post videos um, as often as we can so that you can learn more cool science. 
and I will see you next time.